really like that. Please don't do that. All right, live apparently. Are we live? Can you can you hear us? Hello, everybody. Doesn't look like our microphone's picking up much. Crank it up a little bit. Hello, hello. Let us know if you can hear us well. It's very quiet. Yep. Cool. Are we loud enough? I suppose we should keep talking. Hello, I can hear you. Thank you. All right. Cool. So, hi, I'm Shem. I'm Sam over here. You might see a hand <laughs> or an arm. We are the headless horsemen. No. <laughs> um, and today we're just going to basically show off Age of Artisans, how it plays with two players. Um, let's just make sure that's a bit more in shot. It's hard to get everything in the shot, but we'll give it a shot. Shot. Cool. All right, so the new stuff, if you've already watched some of the videos out anyway, you'll know, but the main new thing in this game are these um, craft yeah. cards. These have a dual use. They can be used for the top part um, as an adornment, so you kind of add it to your building, or you can use the bottom part as a tool to add an additional ability to your apprentices. Um, and the other thing that gets added are these large workers, which are the artisans. Ooh. When you place them, um, they count as two workers, so you could place it in the forest straight away and get two wood. Uh, but then from then on, they count as just one worker, even when you capture them and that kind of stuff. They also allow you to avoid a virtue drop when placed. So if you use them at the black market, you can avoid one virtue drop. If you use them at the tax stand, which would be a bad move, but you can, um, you, lose, you lose one less virtue. Or if you were to, say, use them at the workshop and hire a swindler, which would usually drop a virtue, you could ignore that as well. Mm. Um, so they're quite good. Um, Cool. We've got two new player powers. So I am playing as Wallerip today, and my artisan, instead of counting as two when placed, he counts as three when placed. And I start with 12 virtue. And you also start, once we draft, we're going to teach, do that as well. We're going to draft an apprentice each. Sam will also get a free tool straight away. So he starts with an upgraded apprentice. And my character is Gazella, Gisella. Um, she starts with two coins and 13 virtue. So we're both very virtuous um, for now. And my special power is any time that I gain a tool, I immediately also gain the benefit shown above the on the, the, um, the adornment the part. Yeah. So if I was to add this tool to my character, I would immediately get all my workers out of prison or we'll get three clay and so on. Cool. So we're not going to play with the AI bot as a third player um, because we've found that this expansion actually makes the two-player experience better. Mm. Um, so we're just going to get stuck into it, I guess. So I have the most virtue, which means that Sam gets to go first for drafting the apprentices. Mm. Indeed I do. All right. Well, I've got a few options here. I think I might um, I might start with the abbot, uh, who is going to gain me one virtue every time I visit the king's storehouse, and I'll explain why I'm choosing him soon. I was going to choose that one because mm. it'd be nice to attach. Um, I could go evil, get a strong man. So the strong man, um, he's going to get his artisan out of prison every time. That means using him at the black market a lot, uh, which could be all right, maybe, if paired with an interesting combo. Um, sure. Oh, no, I'll take the woodcutter. Oh, I don't know. We're kind of always safe. How safe know. do you want to be? <laughs> no, I'll take the strong man. Also because the strong man, they, there's three of these guys that each have two skills as well. So I think Nicola's watching. Encourage me to be evil. Thanks, Nicola. <laughs> well, we've got you. a debt collector and some more merchants come out. All right, and now we're going to draft our building cards. So I also gain a free you tool. Do, you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gain this tool here. So I can't even see the camera. But basically what it means is my abbot, who gains a virtue when I go to the king's storehouse, now he loses a virtue to give me a marble. So basically he gives me a free marble every time I go to the king's storehouse. So we'll see if that works out nicely. All right. So we're going to draft building cards. Should we have five or four? You should have four. Yeah. <laughs> That's been a while. <laughs> We're going to keep three, right? After yeah. the draft. Yeah. Cool. All right. There are some promos in here as well. Hmm. 
bit friend. Friend. It's rubbish. <laughs> what is that? Oh, nice. All right. I'm seeing a bit of a strategy coming out here. I see which one you took. <laughs> Do you? Uh, yeah. Cool. And I'm starting. So if you have any questions, just fire away and we'll answer them. Oh, and explain kind of how the these cars come into play. There's two ways. One is at the black market. There's now a new option that when you go there, rather than getting an apprentice for your first first um, possible action, you can gain a tool instead. The other way is, oh, Benedict's watching Death Strat. Um, <laughs> other way of doing that is once you've got a worker in the guild, the guild hall, you can then later stack a worker on top, one of your own. Um, and your options are either take a tool or pay uh, five coins to which attacks and gain an, a, a uh, adornment for your building. And you'll see how we do that in a sec. Ben's asking if there are enough debt tokens. The have got more. <laughs> well, you're not playing, so I guess, yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going first. Decisions, decisions. You can always put the debts on multi players as well. I have needed to use that in the past. I'm going to deny Sam this chance and just roll the tax straight away. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Very yeah. good. All right. Oh, well, you got four coins. I'll get four coins as well by going here. So he counts as three workers, which is four coins at the smith. Yeah. And I'm going to go over to the workshop, pay two tax, two supply, get myself a swindler. Of course. I'm almost in black market territory. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get three coins. I don't know if I'm going to do this. And... Hmm. So used to playing with music in the background. I need two wood colors. Prepared. Hmm. I will... Yeah, why not? Oh, no, I won't do that to you. Let's just get me back for it. Um, I shall think long and hard and just get two clay. All right, well, I'm going to go to the silversmith and get four coins. Because the artisan only counts as one while he's on there. This is true. All right, I'll get a gold. All right, I'm going to come here. I'm going to pay two tax to the supply and hire myself the conspirator. Hey, Jimmy. Thanks for your video. Professional as always. Yeah, it was awesome. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, all right. Got to focus, focus. All right, I'm going to get four clay. Here it comes. Let's stop this. I'm going to capture these guys from the mines. And I will come here. <laughs> I'll get a debt. There's a virtue to get my guys on <laughs> Awesome. That's happening. I'm going to go to the forest and just get... These one. are um, debt tokens that uh, Miniature Market... Oh, Miniature Market. Uh, Meeple Re Reality are doing. Yes, you're asking about do you ever capture your own artisan? Uh, you, you can. You can, yeah. yeah. But you're right, it does kind of undo the his whole purpose of being like an extra action in a way. It's probably most worthwhile with Wallerick. So I'm more value out of I have not captured Sam because I feel like he would just do what I just did and get him off me. Straight. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Definitely. All right, so I'm going to come over here to the black market with my big artisan. I don't lose a virtue. Um, I pay my two coins and I'm going to get a tool. And I think. Well, I can make my swindler give me both stone and wood. That's pretty good. Well, you can turn your strongman into a cons uh, into a gatekeeper, <laughs> basically. Uh, well, this one, this one here. Every time you go, every time you use something, it's out of prison. Every time he comes out of prison, he brings someone else with someone him. With him, true. Yeah. I'm actually thinking I might put the money. Oh, what's also no? That's a bear one. So I don't use the effect of it. Oh. Actually, you're right. That's the best one. So because of my power, I get to get the top part as well. So I get a gold. And that tucks nice. under my strongman. 
Yep. Thanks for that tip, Lesson. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. All right. Forest. Too good. All right. Good. I'm going to get two clay. Should we keep an eye on you, eh? Probably cheating. Yeah, always. Best stone. And I'll get another gold. You gonna stop there? Not yet. No, not yet. Two stone. One thing I didn't do, I didn't trigger actually my swinner as well. So I'm just just stubborn from my black market. Um I'm going to rock tax. I'll remind you that you did start on 13 Virtue and now you're at 7. Oh. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. That's don't great. Worry. Okay. Um, I will come to the mines also. Too quite. All right, I'm going to capture these guys from the quarry. <laughs> you won't capture this one. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to get a gold. I'll do two catches. All right, I'm going to bust my people out for a dip okay, for and it. a virtue drop. Just to prevent him getting the coins. All right, I'll do two catches. <laughs> one from there and one from there. And I'm going to bust my people out. What a waste. Drop a virtue and then my second action, I'm going to pay off a debt. I think. It has begun. I know, he's real aggressive, eh? He's got to get in his head, you know? No, he's not in my head. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Um, I'll get a wood. All right. This game is about building buildings, right? Maybe we should be doing that. I don't know. We've got to go to the guild hall. I'm going to build a tavern, which allows me to hire an apprentice. So three wood, two stone, and a gold. And I'm going to hire the merchant who trades two coins for a gold. I'm also going to build a carpenter's hut, which scores one point for every carpentry symbol at the end of the game. Nice. And roll the tax. This my job. So I've got access to the black market now. All right. Hmm. Um, do I want to do that now? Not the best time for it. Um, I will actually build again. Oh, did we explain this feature? Stacking. No, the removing the two no, apprentices. Yeah, so now at the once at the end of my build, these two apprentices are going to go away, which you might as well be now because I'm not going to use them. I'm going to discard a card and a gold. We've got the cathedral. And get a virtue and two stone. Nice. I think so. Okay, so I'm going to come um, to stack on the guild hall right there. I've got to pay five coins because I've got no tax discount. And that's to purchase or craft an adornment. And I'm going to craft this adornment, which lets me reuse the immediate ability of a building. And I've built the tavern, which gave me a free apprentice. So now I get another apprentice. Um, so I am going to grab this merchant over here, who gives me clay for coins. Oh, another debt collector. Um, I'm going to get a tool. If I go in here, I'm going to get this tool. So with my ability again, I get to use the top part straight away. So I get three cards. And if I attach this to my swindler every time I use the black market, I'll also get a building card. Nice. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I'm going to capture. I'm going to place this to give me three captures. I don't have the money. That's a problem. I'm going to go here instead. So Marco is asking coins. about the apprentice draft in the base game. You can definitely do it in the base game. Yeah, I would recommend it actually. Yeah. We added it because uh, we didn't want players to take a long time to get tools. 
So as your first turn, you could go straight to the market and get a tool because you've already got an apprentice. That was our reason for doing it. Um, I need money and other things. Okay, another gold. I'm gonna capture from mines, of course you are. And hmm. That could be a good one to do. I've got other options. I'll get two wood. I'm gonna do two captures. Only one tax because I'm a conspirator. You got pins. Sorry, my daughter's sick at home. You got pins and needles? All right, maybe just sit up rather than mine down. Good girl. Um, I will build a well. Cool. All right, I probably should cash in. So I'm coming to the guardhouse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. And then hmm, I probably won't flip it yet. Oh, maybe do just, just one. I already feel like I'm getting smashed. <laughs> Sam's obviously had his coffee this morning. Do it really? Alright, I'll lock the tax. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Silversmith. And mm, I capture your guys from there. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to come to the King's Storehouse, finally use this. So <laughs> I get a free marble, basically. I gain a virtue and lose a virtue to get a marble. And then I'm going to pay two coins for a gold. And I'll do two captures. One from there, one from there. <laughs> Captured the one guy. Yep. <laughs> it's worth Love it. it. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, okay. All right, my last guy. Break them out, chuck them in, get six coins. Yeah. Right, I'm coming here to get a marble, and then I'm paying one coin for three clay. All right, so I don't lose, I do lose the virtue still. So there you go. There's a virtue, pay three coins, two marble, stone, and a wood, and then my spin like it's me, another stone, and a building card from the tool. Ah, there we go. Time's going to happen. I've got to free my people, so let's do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to reset it, right? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'll just do it anyway because I don't care. So I'll pay a coin, lose a virtue. Fearless. I'm getting this right. The marble, I'm getting two stone and another building card. And then here I'm going to prison. My strong man kicks in, so he comes out with his tool, brings out another guy with him, but I still get a debt for having the most in prison. No virtue drop though, so not bad. Sam should have got the squires, eh? Maybe. While they were there. Um, I did have another plan. Ah, yes. Okay, I'm going to build. So I'm coming here. I'm going to build my clay market, which is three clay, two stone, and a gold. All right, I will... Hmm... Go here and not lose a virtue to silver, and I'll get the. I was thinking of the labourer. Actually, I'll get the other strong man. <laughs> Three deck collectors are out. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I also get, sorry, my other things from my spindler, stone and a building card. I can watch my hand on that anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna grab some points. All right, I will build, I'm just gonna discard those two workers again. The clay pit, four clay and a wood. I'll get a marble for it. Oh, trickster. All right, I'm gonna grab two building cards. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna craft a tool. I'm gonna to get this one because I have ideas. So it counts as three. I get that effect straight away, so I can re-trigger one of my buildings. And I think I'll re-trigger the four clay. Two more cards. Mm. Now it's like what to build first. Um, that's probably the idea to build first. All right, so I'm gonna build. It's gonna be a reset, but it's okay for me. I'll do this first. Um, yeah, what was I gonna build? This one. So the gallery. Get to that. One, two, three. Oh, nice, you got it. <laughs> yeah. So the gallery oh. gives me a free adornment. Um, and do I want the clay or the stone? Or the free my potential, free my people. I could capture Sam from somewhere for free. I think I need the stone. So I'll take that. I'll just adorn this one because it doesn't matter. And then we're having a reset. They come out, but because of my strong man, they both come out. Nice. No one gets a debt. All right. Well, I'm going to come here and start using my merchants again. So I'm going to spend four gold, four coins, two gold, and I get a marble. Hmm. <laughs> I need to prioritize what's important to me. Eh? That's the toughest part. Time is running out. Um, that's why I need both of these. So, oh man, it would. Okay. Coming here. Oh, I actually grab my three stone from there. The dormant after one. Here. Get five points. Alright, I'm just gonna go here and do two captures. One of them's free. One, two. Hmm, that's tempting to bust them out. Sure it is. Yep, I'll do it. Busting them out. Boo. And debts all over the place. And my second action will be to pay off the debt. Where's so my one from four? I had paid off one. Did you flip it underneath? This didn't it. Right, I'll do this and put it in count. Three. Cool. All right, I get two wood. to come here to get a tool and I'm going to grab this one and just lets me drop another shoe for a marble. Interesting. I'll get three wood. All right, come here. No, I don't want to do that. Come here and I'll capture this crew. 
I'm gonna come here, not pay anything. I'll pay one for my secret bottle. Catch my own guys. I simply can't do it. <laughs> Plus one in back. Oh, the brain burn has started. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, silversmith, I think it would be. I will. Got a bit of a trading strat going on. It's not really working out for me, but we'll see. Get another wood. Probably should have hired that that jeweler. Is it still worthwhile? Maybe. Mm, actually, no, I will do this. Right. I come here. I get three silver. Also, because of my strong man's ability, you can capture those three wickers. Nice. <laughs> That's so good. All right. I'm going to come here. So I've got five actions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm getting four gold. Four actions, then. Oh, I got the more. Yeah. Uh, so four gold, and I get three clay from my other merchant. And then I'm also gaining two marble at the cost of one virtue drop. No, no, he has no money, so he's not going to go there again. So I will build. And I'm going to build a meeting room, which will give me virtue for each tool that I have in the game, which is three virtue currently. Four of those and four of those. Nice job. Okay. I'm going to be friendly to you. Doubt it. I think so. I'm going to build the pillar, which gives everyone um, three coins. Okay. That is quite nice. Thanks, Nick. Ooh. All right. I'm going to do this. You've baited me. All right. I'm going to get a adornment. So pay one less tax because we're on virtuous. Pay three less supply. I'm going to adorn this, which will let oh, me gallery. immediately, <laughs> if I place this on my gallery, oh, I can then re-trigger it, getting another adornment, um, which I will do. And I think at this point, ooh, I'll just get the clay, I think. Yeah. So I'll adorn that to, well, maybe well. put it on the well. Uh, this one here is an interesting one. This one lets you reset all the apprentices and hire one of the new ones. And we are getting rid of those two apprentices as well. Ah, yes. Did I do that? No, you didn't do it. Okay, cool. Game is coming to a close. Um, I'm going to rob the tax. All right, I'm going to do it again. Reset. That's going to give me a debt. Four clay, three wood, and a marble. This is going to give me a virtue for each set of three unique skill symbols. So currently I've only got one set. It's going to give me one virtue. If I get another tiling symbol, it's going to be virtue for me. Um, so this guy's going in. I've already grabbed the debt, I think. And then we flip this over. A few Are there any pieces. questions? Any Comments, anything? No, orange is stoked that we've got your orange as a color. Yeah, it's yep. a great orange as well. As far as oranges go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to come in here and adorn because I need some building cards. So, two of the tax, three of the supply. Let's grab this one here. Hmm. Just my two cards. Been really long ways, so I'm gonna put 
got three actions. Put yours in prison, so I get three. Then I think I will pay one tax, three the supply, get mine back off you. Fair and enough. That's about all I'll do. Yeah, you can run out of workers more often if you're doing a lot of this, um, which is fun. But you've got a lot <laughs> much stronger engines. The game will progress a lot faster towards the end as well. I'm going to do two captures. Um, one. Oh, so far, I've committed hats. three additional workers into the guild wall than what I would usually have done. Cool. Um, man. Yeah, you've done really well, all those buildings. While well, you're busy engine building, I've just been trying to yeah, yeah. small buildings. We'll see if it pays off. Um, I can't quite do that. So I'm going to get a total of three silver from there. Great. Well, <laughs> I'm going to capture. No, I'm not. I'm going to. Something I had planned. Ah, yes, yes. Can we start with plans again? Yeah. We've got plans. Come about. Um, all right, I'm going to Dawn. So I pay one less tax still, apparently. So we just apply. And I'm going to do this fun one, which is going to clear all of the apprentices. Nice. And I get to hire one for free. Oh, that's dormant. That's the apprentices good. get refreshed a lot more in this game, so it doesn't get stale. And oh, there he is. Where was the overseer when I needed him? Or her? <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. I can only get one that actually helped me with my abilities. I get the enforcer. I want the extra mining. Okay. Cool. Then a pickpocket shows up. <laughs> And that's another reset too. Sam gets another debt and loses the virtue. Suck it. All good. All good. Let's get some stone. Man. Um, hmm. Well, I did a, Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, I'm going to get a tool because this gives me another virtue in the game because it's got another mining thing on it. And I get two gold from it because of my player power as well. Nice. I'll also get a tool, which is this one here. I'll put it under this merchant. So for the, for the new AI, well, it's not new, for the AI, Every time that it places a worker in the guild hall, it's not only going to either do the cathedral or just get points uh, as it used to, it's also going to take the highest value um, adornment as points and take that card. So that keeps these kind of refreshing as well. And yeah, scores more points basically. Um, I don't see what you did. Oh, I grabbed this tool. You would, wouldn't you? I've got one worker. So I'm going to go here, avoid paint tax and capture. My guys from there. I'm feeling the pinch of that, eh? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We've got lots of resources, though. Right, I'm going to send in Wallerick. So, in. three actions. I'm going to do two with this merchant, which is two coins for six clay. And I also get a card. And then I'm going to spend two coins to gain a gold. Also gives me a marble and a virtue drop plus another marble from my other. That's so many points basically. Are you scoring off that? You're not. No, nah, I'm not. I've been searching through the deck, but I haven't found anything I wanted. Okay. Um I've got to discard a card because my other hand on it. Yeah. Hmm. You would definitely do that. So I'm gonna use my enforcer. So not my enforcer, my artisan. Oh, well, I'm actually using the power of it. Let's be just go in there. Just save him. 
Um, I could do this. All right. First capture doesn't cost anything. Second one does. But I'm just getting my own guys. There and there. All right. You got a plan? Uh, no. <laughs> Let me get four stuff. Plans are for the week. Um, one, two, three. Hang on. One, two. Oh, that's four. Wow. I'm getting paid work during the game. I should be good. That's what I should be doing. Um. Sorry. No, this, you're good. There's a lot of things to tell. I was in. waiting a long time for a coin tool to come up, and now it's come up. I'm not sure I'll use it. Right, I'm going to use my artisan at the quarry. It's me two stone, and because of my strong <laughs> name, I can capture these guys. I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, I've got two captures. I don't have any money, so that's a problem. Oh, the tax is really tempting me. Do it. But I won't. Uh, boo. Oh, I'm going to skip two points. All right, I'm going to go here. And oh, that's only one action for me, though. That's going to help you get more on your turn, isn't it? No, I'll let you buy them off me. That's fine. Um, I'm going to build a church, which costs me that. And that. And let's make it a virtue and destroy a debt. Hmm. All right, change of plans, just going to free my people. <laughs> oh, I should just put them in prison for fun. Um, man. All right, I'm going to get three clay. All right, I'm going to trigger the end game. Oh. Building the arcade, which gives me a virtue per adornment I've got at the end of the game. So, last move. I haven't figured out how to offset all my debts, <laughs> unfortunately. It's not going to happen. Um, wish I can get two actions at the King Storehouse, but I can't because I already used my deed over here, which I didn't really need to. Oh, I didn't need to actually. Just talking to myself again. Um, can't adorn, don't have the money for it. So, a virtue is going to give me two points, so I'm just going to do that. Two play. Gives me a virtue. And that's me. Done. Okay. I'm not going to do the math of it, but I'm just <laughs> going to do it. My brain says yes, but my body says <laughs> no, the other way around. So, I'm building the dungeon, oh. which is big points, but it also drops me down virtue like crazy. I'll Something deal with the consequences later. <laughs> yeah. Find out how much you won or lost by later. I think you've got it. So you dropped really well. Yep. All right, I dropped game. one. Yeah. So I oh. gain two and I lose two from this. Oh, nice. So. And I'm gaining from my storehouse. I get one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight virtue. So wow. I'm going up into 13. <laughs> no, if I, had two, if I had two more, I would have destroyed my team. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Storehouse well, and meeting room, two new promo cards, or two new expansion cards. Paying off. Um, all right, done all your movements. Yeah. All your vow movements. All right, so points just from printed buildings. Well, not just printed, any bonus points at the bottom as well. Right. 40. Yeah, 39. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm so out. <laughs> um, I'm getting two from the cathedral. Uh, points from virtue. Minus five. Uh, points from unpaid debts. Negative eight. Well, that's not too bad. Points from marble and gold. Five. Um, I'm on five, six, seven. Any money? No. Nope. No one in prison. Um, points from your adornments. Eight, eight, six. 
and then points on your tools. So tools basically on this new little player aid give you increasing points for how many you have. So I'm getting six points. Nice, I got four. four. Yeah, I'm not gonna break, but I think yeah. I've got it. Yeah, easy. Uh, 11, 16, 14, 21, 27, that's 50. So I'm on 67. Sam is on, we got here, let's check all those ones. 42, I think. 32, 38, 42. Well played, man. So Gisella wins it. Yeah, I was honestly surprised. And I got a bit going at the end, but... The gallery plus this was really awesome. Yeah, that's always a good card. Yeah. I, I saw you ramping up your your powers. I was like, oh, crap. But yeah, I was sitting out rushing a little bit on the cathedral to help me get quickly on the guild hall. Yeah, and I had no means to really get money quickly. Like, you kept... Um, capturing my guys at the silversmith slash town center. Uh, I couldn't cash it in. And I needed to have a bunch of money to True. pay off at the King's storehouse. Also, I should have got the jeweler yeah. earlier or something like that. I guess I was capturing my own people too, so you couldn't capture them. Yeah. For some times. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So the final score was 47 to oh, 67 to 42. So the scores are generally higher. Um, you can still rush the game if you want to and just ignore the stuff. Um, but once you start getting the engine going with these new powers, you're yeah, quite powerful. Way. It does make it a lot more sandboxy. There are so many different ways that you can play, which is cool. Yeah, so my strat was kind of I had it, I, I had more of a black market strat, but I didn't use it too much, which is probably actually a good thing. Otherwise, I would have just gone lower and lower. And lower yeah, pitching. yeah. Um, especially in two player, it's hard to really get that black market ticking over fast. Um, but then, yeah, I was mainly focusing on just kind of getting lots of different skills because I had the storehouse on my hand from the very start. And then I had the meeting room popped up as well. So I knew I was going to get a virtue back at the end of the game. You know, just try and rush the game with small buildings, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And you were doing the full-on King Storehouse strat. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been better with a few more players to capture. You had a lot of leftover resources, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did have the most... The two bonus from the Oh, I missed market. two points from there, but it's fine. Oh, 44. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Um, so the pre-orders are going to go up um, in about, well, oh, maths, 36 hours or something like that. Um, are they tonight? No, it's tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow night in New Zealand. So 10, oh, 9 or 10 o'clock in New Zealand. It's 9 o'clock, I think I said. Um, so be awesome jump on if you like what you see um we're not using kickstarter because we didn't really feel the need to do that big campaign um but yeah oh well, yeah the manufacturer is already underway and it's due to wrap up in three weeks so we're not looking to try and make this a long um kind of campaign with production schedule and stuff it's just gonna get the pre-orders get the games on the boats and send them out as soon as possible so hopefully you'll be seeing the games in like february march Hopefully February though. Mm. Otherwise, thanks for watching and stay in touch. Thanks everyone. Bye. See ya.